My act is obscene and offensive. I once made a publisher choke, but they can't put me on the defensive. Fuck them if they can't take a joke. She had one phrase which always scared the hell out of me, which is, why are you telling me this? Overwhelming, really. It was, it was wonderful. It was like puppy dogs. She had a wonderful vulnerability about her that probably scared me about it. She was so vulnerable. But that's why her poetry is so beautiful. Spring this year has got me feeling. And the first night he he walked into the Crystal Palace. He walked behind the bar, he started making drinks for people, and he was hooked, and it was his place. From the moment he entered it, it became his crystal palace. But before that, he didn't want, he said it wasn't marriage building. <laughs> and we sought out people who were just beginning to be interesting, and I brought them down to the crystal palace. We're talking Woody Allen, Barbara Streisand, when she was too young to be working in a bar. The Blandismans were the impresarios. They were the ones, that they kind of, and Fred, they kind of held court over there. Talk about a college education, sitting there night after night listening to these brilliant, funny people doing their routines was a lot of help in, in what I'm doing today. He knows everybody in London or, you know, and everybody in the entertainment world, and she knows everybody in the music world. Oh, my shining stars and body. When we fell down on that mountain. I read about myself and said, the legendary Fran Landisman. So I'm a legend too. I keep saying, my words coming out of somebody else's mouth is just the, the, <laughs> the most erotic, sexy, pleasurable experience that you could possibly imagine. That's all right.